This is your goal right here. Now, at first, when you first set that goal, you start making some progress. And initially, when you set a goal, it's exciting, isn't it? You know, you set a goal, you're excited, you're juiced, you're pumped. Maybe initially, this could also be you, you watch a video on YouTube and you get some new insights and you think, wow, that's really great, that's really beneficial. It really shifts your mindset and it gets you motivated. Or you read a book or a blog post or maybe you sign up for an online course or training program or you attend a seminar. And initially, again, you have that spike, you have that boost. You're excited, you're motivated, you have this great energy from it. You start taking some action, right? Maybe you initiate some new habits, some new routines. You know, maybe if your goal is to build a business and make money, you start the initial phases of that and you start creating some content or making some uh, phone calls or, or start planning things and you're feeling really great about it. Or again, to achieve a certain body, you start going to the gym. And so initially your progress is going up. You're doing great, everything's good. But inevitably what happens, and I'm sure you can relate to this, you hit what is called a plateau. And that plateau could be many things. Maybe that plateau is you just lose your motivation and you find yourself not taking the same action. You weren't as excited as you initially were when you first envisioned that goal and that dream. Maybe the plateau is you hit a, a roadblock Maybe something that's outside of your control. Maybe it's another person. Maybe it's uh, you know, the economy. Maybe it's uh, your job. Maybe it's a financial crisis. Maybe it's a health crisis. Maybe it's something that comes up that, that kind of uh, you know, hits you here and you kind of flat, you flat line out. Maybe you start procrastinating. Maybe there's some old habits or old patterns that creep up. You know, or maybe it's just failure. Maybe you made the wrong decision and, and, and something happened. Or maybe you're just not seeing the progress fast enough and so you get discouraged and you give up. Or maybe you're going to the gym, you get injured. Whatever that plateau is, it could be many different things. But what happens for a lot of people is when they hit that plateau, they often digress and they revert back to where they were before, okay? You're developing these new routines, these new habits, but then you hit that plateau, and then all of a sudden, you know, you start eating poorly again, you stop you know, uh, procrastinating, and, and some of those old habits and routines kick back in, and those beliefs and that mindset, you get discouraged, et cetera, and then that progress that you made initially is, is right back to where you started from. And time and time again, I see this happen where people, they, they, they get discouraged, they're right back where they started, and then they repeat this process. They come back here, and maybe they have a new goal. They have this new opportunity. You know, if it's in the world of weight loss, let's say, uh, maybe it's a new diet. They do this one diet, they're excited to make progress, they hit a plateau, maybe they go on like a trip where there's like a family vacation or something like that, and they overindulge, and they lose their habits, their momentum, they get discouraged, they go back, and then all of a sudden there's a new diet, and they get excited about that, and they do that, and sure enough, a plateau back where they started, and they just repeat this process again and again and again, and what inevitably happens when you set your mind to a goal, you commit to it, you're excited, you have that initial enthusiasm, you hit that plateau and you repeat this, what happens is this. I'm gonna draw this in a different color for you so that it gets your attention. Is pain. In fact, I call this the pyramid or the triangle of pain. Because at first you're excited, you're enthusiastic, you hit the plateau, you feel some pain from that. You feel pain that you didn't get to where you wanted to go. You feel pain you didn't follow through. So you feel bad about yourself and you lose that enthusiasm the next time around. And it's just a matter of time where human beings again and again, you get so much pain to even going for it, to dreaming, to envisioning, to even trying, that sure enough, eventually, you think to yourself, why even try? Or, you know what, that, that doesn't work. I've already tried this, I've already done it. You become jaded. I've already tried all the diets out there, it's not for me. You know, I'm just gonna have to accept myself, this is just who I am. You know, I have to live being overweight. Or maybe a, a business is not for me. You know, all these other people, yeah, they've got that, but maybe you become skeptical. You stop believing because of the pain of your failure, of you not following through. And it might be harsh saying that, but this is the truth. Now, there's only one reason why you didn't achieve your goal, whatever your goal is. And I want you to pay close attention to this. Only one reason why you haven't achieved your goal. And it's because of this. It's 
It's because you stopped. You stopped. Listen, that's the only reason why you didn't achieve your goal. You stopped believing. You stopped trying. You stopped growing. You stopped learning. You stopped doing what it took here initially to get to the next level. And it could be many different things and you might be saying, no, Stephanie, you don't understand. It's because of this or it's because of this person or the economy or my boss or the weather or whatever it is. Listen, those things might be true. Those things might have happened, but the difference between someone who's successful that achieves their goal and everyone else is they also face the same adversity and challenges, but they don't stop. They don't stop, they keep going. Now, there's a way to accelerate this process. There's a way to achieve your goal. And that process that I'm gonna share with you, pay close attention now, the way to get to where you wanna go is you gotta commit to what I call mastery. Mastery. The process of mastery is what's gonna get you to where you wanna go. You, get, you can't get caught up in the dabbler mentality. This right here, I'll use a different color here for this. Use orange. This right here is the dabbler. The dabbler is the person that when they start something, they don't finish it. They get shiny object syndrome. They jump from one thing to the next. They never get to the finish line. They never achieve their goal because they're always playing it safe. They're always staying at the surface. They never go deep. You don't want to be the dabbler. The dabbler equals pain. Okay, I want you to really understand this. Again, to get to where you want to go, you got to commit to mastery. Now, the way to master something, the way to achieve your goal and to accelerate that process is to learn from someone else that already has the result that you're after. Okay, they've already been through the path. They're already here. So let's say, for example, your goal is to make a million dollars. All right, just drew that on the wrong side. A million dollars, let's say. Okay, that's the goal. That's what you're after. Now, for most people, they're gonna to try to pursue that, but they don't know where their plateaus are. They don't know the obstacles that are gonna show up, and then when they hit them, they get discouraged because they don't have the solutions to those challenges to break past those plateaus. If you learn from someone who's already got that result, who's already a millionaire, let's say, they're gonna pull you to where, where you wanna go. You're gonna make progress. They're gonna give you the strategy, the plan. They're gonna guide you, and sure enough, yeah, you're gonna hit a plateau. That's inevitable, but when you hit that plateau, it's gonna be a small dip. It's not gonna drive you back. You're gonna maybe have a stumbling block here. You have some questions. The person here, you just go to them and you say, hey, listen, I am hit this plateau here. What should I do? What's the next step? They're gonna give that to you and then you continue making progress till sure enough, you hit maybe another plateau and there might be many along the way. Plateau, but hey, you know what? This person's already been through the plateaus. They've already been you know, along the journey. They know the mistakes along the road. They've already been down the path. They can tell you, you know, you know, don't go this way or don't do this. And they have the experience and the knowledge and the know-how to be able to guide you. So sure enough, you hit that plateau, there might be a bit of a drop, but eventually you get to where you wanna go. Or because you're learning from someone that already has the result that you're after, they can help you anticipate the potential roadblocks and plateaus that might come up. You know, they're gonna, they're gonna help you avoid the plateaus that any other person might experience. So that's how you master something. You don't try to reinvent the wheel. You learn and you model someone that already has the result.